Good morning, welcome to Morning Review. This is Kim speaking on Wednesday, the 4th of January. Looking at the euro dollar first, and well, yesterday we managed to make a new near term low there, which in turn has um, seen, well, it, it tested it, pushed through it, and then it's now looking like it's trying to reverse here a little bit, maybe. Um, it's interesting that we still have positive momentum sitting there on the uh, uh, dailies there throughout that last period, but we'll we'll see. Uh, at the moment, it, to me, the look, we've got lower highs, lower lows, and it's it's relatively still well, still bearish. However, intermediate time frames may tell it be telling trying to tell us something different. Uh, currently, we're above the daily pivot on the hourlies here. We've just we got back above the hourly 21s um, and heading up really for the hourly 50 at this juncture. Now we could push on beyond, and if we start making a bit more of a um, move to the upside, I'd be looking at yesterday's highs most likely, certainly the R1, and uh, maybe back towards that weekly pivot. Longer term sort of target would be the uh, week, uh, the monthly pivot, which is above, which the probability is it gets hit earlier in the month rather than the later than the norm. So would be looking for that as a sort of target over the next day or so. Oh, sorry, I'll come back to that. One thing, if it does start breaking down, let's not ignore the potential for the downside. And of course the trend, and I've just drawn this on very badly, but uh, there is a trend line sitting across the lows here. And if it starts breaking down through that, well, then in which case I'd have to, I mean, initially there's that sort of, uh, these lows here, but, uh, would have to be looking at yesterday's lows and maybe the uh, daily S1 there. Okay, cables had a bit of a shove up through uh, the Asian session here. Um, at the moment, it's doing a similar thing. Let's just uh, bring this to an RSI here and there's some divergence off the um, off the dailies there. A bit of divergence going on. Uh, momentum still negative, um, and well. In real terms, on the bigger time frame, we're still in that sort of negative territory. However, it's we've got potential again for a switch here, but we have just run into this cluster of moving averages, the 50, 34, 21 all together here, and it may just hold things back at least first thing this morning. Um, okay, so if we get a pull back to the uh, new eight o'clock pivot, that may give us a move back up there, but I'll just need to watch this carefully. At the moment, it's erring uh, to a bit overbought. They've certainly got short-term overbought signals. Uh, again, for the uh, there's there's other short signals may come from a break of this trend line here later on. It's quite a shove up in this last hour we've seen so uh, relatively. Um, Target-wise, if well, if it can break this 50 uh, moving average, which it's the first actual test of, if it can break that level, well, of course, we got uh, yesterday's uh, highs into that uh, weekly pivot, which would uh, seem a logical target, uh, and maybe then beyond. But uh, at the moment, erring on seeing some sort of correction of this move, but. Uh, uh, we'll see how how much that moves. Well, again, need to really watch the possibly the euro with it as well. But although they have moved separately at times, but uh, if this starts breaking down, um, there would be a, certainly a, a signal on the break of this trend line. Dolly yen, bigger picture to me shouts upside mostly. Um, although it has got a monthly pivot untouched below, which has got the possibility of being hit earlier on in the month. Um, it's quite choppy picture coming through from this uh, four hour picture. Um, if it does manage to push and continue this sort of push up, I'd be looking uh, at some point for that monthly R1 to be hit um, if it continues in this direction. Certainly the weekly R2 sits up there as well, so there's certain targets not far above us. Um, quite messy when you come down and look at the intermediate, the hourly time frames here. And he has done a sort of a divergence into these uh, highs this morning um, of salt. So now it's a very low grade divergence, but they've done it all the same. My preference still with the trend and the direction and everything um, behind this is really for the upside. 
uh, but uh, if it starts breaking beyond the uh, daily pivot and starting moving back, maybe a break of that uh, uh, 50 MA would really see me a bit more uh, bearish and maybe look for the daily S1. The dollar, well, it's uh, started to uh, look like it wants to push up towards its monthly pivot here. It's, uh, it's been in quite a mess on this uh, four hourly picture. Um, it's certainly looking like it could be uh, changing direction a little bit more, a bit more positiveness there. However, it is just running in as this sort of uh, near term resistance area uh, on the four hourly. You can see it quite clearly. Um, and the owl is here. Bit of an ugly picture. Uh, untouched daily pivot below. It starts breaking and um, down from here. Well, the daily pivot could be a target at some point throughout the day. Um, at the moment, that's no, already hit the R1 and it's erring towards that bullish side. But uh, there's not massive strength for this move up here. So, well, we'll see how it runs. But uh, uh, it could just be running out of uh, steam. But if the other markets move up and the dollar rolls over a little bit, it could give it the opportunity to shove on. Canadian dollar, well, um, this oil was back down to $52 a barrel, and uh, um, well, but so is the, the uh, US dollar softened somewhat. So it's uh, a bit of a combination of factors here, and the Canadian dollar has really barely moved uh, over the last couple of days, two, three days at the moment, it's in the same sort of range here. Failing to break that uh, daily eight moving average, and it's the weekly pivot still above us. So if it does uh, soften up, there's uh, certainly short-term targets would be looking for is that weekly pivot. Um, likewise, if it strengthens and can get out of this mess that it sits in, uh, well, there's a daily pivot below, but it's quite a mess and it's quite choppy where it sits now. But at some point, it obviously it will break out of this range and probably give us a, a pretty decent move of at least the range that it's sitting in at the moment. Um, so it's just a case of it, which way. Well, the original uh, pattern to me was looking like it from this move that we'd seen um, before the holidays there, it looked like to, it, it, it could roll roll over there. So we'll see how it runs, but uh, uh, so that, which would give us a, a, a shot down to the monthly pivot. But just got to wait and uh, watch watch what direction it gives us. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it for me. There's nothing else. News-wise, there's very little today. We've got construction PMI. It's the softer of the PMI figures, um, although still it could give some volatility on cable. Um, there's some Euro European uh, CPI flash estimates, but they're pretty weak in terms of their reaction. We've already seen individual countries coming out. Uh, and finally, there's the FOMC minutes, which may give some quite, quite good volatility around 7 o'clock this evening, but it's quite unpredictable as everyone tries to read through it. But it still may give uh, a bit more of a picture uh, and create a bit more volatility later. That's it for me. Have a great one. Bye for now.